Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehmu Sheikh and today I am going to start a new tutorial series on PHP where I will be going to discuss some of the basic and important concepts or questions uh, related to PHP. Okay, So these questions or topics that I am going to cover in this tutorial series are frequently ask interview questions okay so people ask these questions at the time of interviews if you watch this complete tutorial series then i'm sure it will be very very helpful for you guys uh, for preparing for the interviews and as well as for developing uh, applications using php okay so now let us uh, start our discussion since this is the first video of our tutorial series so the first question of uh, of our tutorial series uh, is what is PHP okay so first we need to understand first we need to come to know what is PHP okay so here you can see there are I have written some points okay first point it's saying PHP is a server side scripting language okay so PHP we use PHP to interact with the server okay server is our database okay inside our database we store our information okay we develop web applications which interact with the database which interact with our server to get the data from the server and display it on our uh, web pages and to insert the data uh, when we insert the data the data will get stored inside the server which is our database okay if we want to update the already existing data we can update the information uh, in our server using php okay if we want to delete some kind of information from the server we can delete that information from the server using php okay so php is uh, as a server side scripting language it's a scripting language which is used for interacting with our server with our database okay so and it is used for developing web applications okay so next okay now we can develop uh, dynamic applications dynamic applications in the sense where the content of the application gets changed okay uh, that's called as dynamic application uh, example like Facebook Twitter okay so whenever we log into the Facebook or Twitter you can see the content uh, content will get changed okay so the content which you had seen some few seconds a few minutes back now that content will get updated with that so with the different content okay that is called as dynamic uh, applications okay so php stands for hypertext process preprocessor okay so the second point is is uh, here it's saying the full form of php is hypertext preprocessor okay so they may ask you this question as well what is the full form of php php stands for hypertext preprocessor okay we normally use version 5 or greater than 5 for building our PHP applications okay so most of the people are using the version 5 or uh, or greater than version 5 okay now the next point is uh, we write PHP code using this syntax okay so uh, angular bracket question mark PHP and then close angular bracket okay and then this is the second syntax okay we can use any of the syntaxes to start our PHP script okay let us suppose uh, here I have created a project called php faq and here i have a file okay so let us go uh, to our editor and open this project okay so here you can see i have created a project as php faq and inside that i have created a file as index.php okay here you can see i have i have used the same syntax which i have written here inside this slide okay so here you can uh, use this syntax and you can use the other syntax as well okay so now let us if i try to echo A message as hello world okay and now I will go to my browser and I will type 127.21 slash PHP FAQ okay so now you can see it's displaying that message okay so now if I now the fifth point or the next point about PHP is uh, how we execute our PHP script okay for executing PHP script we have to open our browser and then we have to type this uh, localhost slash project name and then file name okay so first uh, we need to download a server whether it is XAMPP, WAMP, MAMP or LAMP okay based on the operating system that you are using you have to download the server and then you need to install it in your system okay once you install it then you can then you can access it then you just suppose you have installed XAMPP server then you need to go to your 
XAMPP inside XAMPP then you need to go to htdocs and inside htdocs you have to create a folder with a name any okay any folder any project name okay i have given a name called php faq and inside this i have created a file called index.php and that i have imported here in my editor okay, here you can see this here i am displaying a message as hello world okay so now if you want to run this script then you need to go to browser okay and then you need to just see it's displaying me the same output as hello world okay so now this is how you can execute uh, your php script okay now you can see the same syntax that i have mentioned here in my slide i have used the same syntax okay next okay next point about uh, php is php file comes up with object oriented features or object oriented programming you can write object oriented programming and you can take advantage of object oriented features to develop your applications okay and then php has many cms frameworks for creating websites like wordpress magento prestashop okay so uh, this um, uh, php comes up with many uh, many frameworks like uh, content management systems okay and e-commerce uh, frameworks like uh, magento prestashop okay so here you can see wordpress is a content management system with the help of which you can uh, develop your own blog okay you can develop a website where you can easily maintain the information of your website that you are displaying uh, to your users okay and you can also develop your own uh, online shopping cart using magento presta shop again okay, then uh, e-commerce uh, e okay so there are different types of frameworks available uh, that are uh, that works on php okay and you can use uh, many frameworks of php mvc frameworks okay php has many mvc frameworks like code igniter cake php laravel symphony zen framework okay so all these frameworks were uh, have a mvc architecture model view controller architecture okay you can use any of these frameworks once you are very good in core php or object oriented programming concepts okay then you can use any of these um, mvc frameworks to develop your applications requirements okay what is required for uh, using php okay so uh, based on your operating system if you are using windows then you can install vamp okay vamp means windows apache mysql and php and if you are using linux operating system then you can use um, lamp okay and uh, which which means linux operating system apache mysql and php if you are using mac operating system then you can use mamp okay and if you are using uh, and this zamp is used for any operating system okay so you can use it if you are using uh, windows operating system and you can use xamp if you are using linux uh, okay or any other operating system okay so xamp uh, means cross operating system okay and then apache mysql php and perl okay so for uh, uh, for using php you need to download and install any of this server okay and then you can start building your applications okay next next uh, we are having is applications of php okay php is used for creating dynamic websites okay and i have already told you what is dynamic website websites where the uh, where the content is continuously keep on changing that those websites are called as uh, dynamic websites okay and the second point is php used for building the functionality of sending and receiving emails okay so the uh, php has a feature or functionality which allows you to build a uh, build an application where you can send sms to your uh, to your users and you can receive uh, the emails from your users okay so you, with php you can easily develop that kind of functionality php is used for developing web applications like websites and web portals okay suppose if you are the if you want to develop any uh, web portals like where you need to maintain the information of different users or like uh, ecom uh, hrms human resource management system okay so for that as well you can use php for develop that kind of applications php offers many frameworks for developing different applications like cms and e-commerce okay php as i already said uh, uh, php has wordpress okay and then uh, magento uh, presta shop okay and then uh, uh, woocommerce all these frameworks uh, are used for developing different types of applications okay and they are built up with php 
and uh, next point is PHP offers many MVC frameworks like Code Igniter, Kick PHP, Laravel, Symfony, and Zen. Okay, so these are different MVC frameworks, model view controller frameworks that are uh, that are built uh, built on PHP. You can use these frameworks to develop your applications. Again, the next point is using php we can build a user authentication system for applications okay suppose you have a requirement that you need to uh, you need to build a user authentication system where people can come register with your application and then they can log in with your application then you can develop that kind of applications very easily uh, and with a faster pace using php okay next we have uh, we, uh, we have a point as PHP is used for developing applications of maintaining information of different users with different roles. Okay, so as I already said, uh, you can develop applications like human resource management system. Okay, and you can develop uh, applications like membership websites. Okay, so and blog applications. You can use that kind of applications where you have to uh, store the details of different users who has different roles. Like, uh, like you you want to develop an application where you are having roles like admin HR managers okay and these different users will be having different types of roles based on their uh, based on their authority based on their roles you need to display different functionality for these different users okay so if you have that kind of requirement then you can de develop that kind of uh, uh, applications using php okay P next point is php is efficiently used for handling sessions and cookies okay so sessions is a very uh, important concept in php okay so whenever you want to build an application where you need to allow the users to register to your application and log in then you need uh, you need the functionality of storing the session storing the details of the logged in users into the session okay next point is php is used for encrypting and decrypting data okay so php has uh, different uh, different varieties of encrypting or decrypting uh, functions like sh a1 okay so there are different types of functions available and md5 as well okay so you can use those functions to encrypt your data okay so we use encrypting and decrypting functionalities whenever we tries to tries to make a user log into the system or register to the system okay so for example password okay so whenever we uh, registered any users we accept their username and password okay so for password we encrypt that password and then they we uh, store that encrypted password into the database okay so for that reason we use uh, SHA1 and MD5 kind of functions that are provided by PHP to secure at our application the okay, next point is PHP used for performing reading writing updating and deleting text files okay so we can perform operations on text files as well okay so we can store the information um, not only in database we can also store the information in our text files as well inside our uh, folders inside our computer hard disk also we can store the information in the form of text files we can read the information from the text files we can write the data into the text files and we can update the already ex already existing data and we can delete some data as well okay we can do all these perform operations using php and uh, the last point is php is used for developing web applications like uh, web applications and portals like ehrms system membership websites blog applications and CRUD applications okay so we can use php for many for developing many kind of applications okay so here I have mentioned some of the examples of uh, applications that we can develop using PHP okay we can you develop a, a fully functional uh, human resource management system and uh, a social networking websites like Facebook uh, Twitter okay and we can you we can uh, develop membership websites where different people can come and uh, take the membership uh, membership and then they start participating uh, and contributing some kind of information with our application okay and we can develop blog applications okay where uh, there will be an admin who will who can uh, post who can uh, post the uh, information and other users can view that information and we can uh, develop CRUD applications as well okay so this is everything about PHP okay so PHP uh, nowadays many people many industries uh, many IT companies uh, or many people are using PHP for developing their applications okay so this is everything about PHP what is PHP 
okay and then requirements uh, for using php and some of the uses or applications of php okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some valuable information out of this video regarding everything about php and uh, if you like this video uh, click on like button uh, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe or subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing on some other uh, some other concept or some other uh, topic of php okay till then goodbye guys i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching